What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a mail unboxing video. I am going to, I think, either make this two parts of two shorter videos, because I do have two huge packages coming in the mail, or I'm just gonna add on to this, and you'll see later in the video, the other stuff that I get. But be prepared to the channel. I'm going to have Card Talk episode number two. I'm gonna be talking, I'm not 100% sure on what yet, I'm just going to be kind of, I might even do a live stream on YouTube and just leave it up for you guys where I'm just going to be talking over my thoughts and then I'm going to be making an MLB recap over the past, what, 40 games or so. We're like a quarter of the way finished with the season. So stay tuned for some awesome videos and it's going to be a great way for you guys to learn on what's going on with the MLB in case you don't follow it, who to start investing in now for the MVP race and even world series predictions i mean you have to plan ahead if you want to maximize your return on investment but for today we have two packages here that we're going to be unboxing the first one here i'll just open them eh, i'll flip this one over because it does have our addresses but i bought these both on instagram and um one of the deals was a very easy deal and now i'm struggling to open the package but one deal is extremely easy whereas the other one was actually kind of a struggle with the seller and we were kind of having some miscommunication and that's just what i'm going to blame it on but overall i'm happy with the stuff that i got i was able to get really nice product for a good price so here as you can see we have three cards i don't really have anything to block it but i will use you know what let's go with a malik monk to block it out so as you can see here our first card is a jaron duran now realizing that the malik monk isn't going to block it so we'll use an alexander canario a guy that i talked about investing in in my uh minor league video and he's hitting like 500 this year so it's a guy to invest in but for here in this video i started off buying a 2020 bowman chrome jaron duran mega box purple refractor this is a PSA 9. I got a really good lot deal. This is numbered 47 of 250. I really generally don't like these mojos, but it was such a good deal. Jaron Dern's a guy that I think is going to play very well once he gets called up to the Red Sox. So this is a card that I couldn't pass up on for such a good price. Next up is a Robert Puisson PSA 9. First Bowman prospects as well. This is a guy that is extremely cheap for how high of a level that he signed with the athletics he was a top international prospect i think he was the second behind hmm i think he was behind jason dominguez i'm not 100 percent positive on that but i think he was the second best international prospect and he has yet to play a game in the states which is why you could really make some good money by investing in him i'm not 100 percent sure if he's played so far this year i haven't really checked up on that but as you can see in his Bowman card, no stats available. But he was 6'3", 165 by the time he signed this. He is still only 19 years old. And to be that large, I doubt he's going to continue at short. He might move to third because they also have Matt Chapman at one of the two. So I'm not sure what they're going to do with him defensively. But he's supposed to be a great hitter. And let's hope he can do something to emulate what he did that got him signed as the second international prospect. And our third and final card in this deal is a Joe Burrow Red, White, and Blue Prism PSA 9. So yes, I did pull three Prisms, or I did get three PSA 9s. I think I paid like $300 for this lot, and I'm really happy for it, because if you come down to each value, this is something that could triple in price. This is something that I think could double in price by the end of the year, and this is something that I think is going to go up exponentially just because of how good of a season I expect them to have. And this is a little bit of a short printed card considering you can only get it out of retail, which is why I like it more than the base prism, but it's still not too spectacular of a card, but it's a card that I really like and I think has a lot of potential to go up in value over this NFL season, which is one game larger than it's ever been. So this is something to think about when you guys are investing. And our next card here, as you can see, it's all wrapped up. This is actually my first card of this guy. I haven't ever bought any because he's kind of worried me because I think he's a little bit overhyped because he's been in his career so far. A guy that doesn't hit a lot of home runs, which never tends to sell. But I'm going to open it a little bit off camera here. 
always good to have some extra bubble wrap for when you're sending to buyers or for PSA. That's something I recommend you guys do because even for PSA, it makes the graders think you take care of your cards. But as you can see here, this is a 2019 Bowman card number 100. If you know what that means, it means it's a Wander Franco. This is a Chrome PSA 9 Prospects, just like the Puasan. I can see here that it does have some scratches on the case, but I always say I'm buying the card, not the case. So if it's a nine, it's a nine. I can always get it re-slabbed, you know, for I think like $20 or something. So I don't really care. But this is a card that I got for 80 bucks. I think the guy was asking like 150. I think they're going consistently for around like 95. And for a guy that is playing so well in spring or in uh, the minor league season so far, I haven't really checked up on his stats. I think this is a really good purchase for 80 bucks. Um, I mean, even if he ends up living up to some of his potential and let's just say he lives up to like the Ronald Acuna level or Tatis because Acuna is way lower than Tatis. Acuna's PSA 9s are still going consistently for 250. Those are something that I'm going to talk about in my MLB update or recap video. I think those are a phenomenal buy still because if he wins MVP and I'm going to go in depth on this, I think those are going to skyrocket. But for 80 bucks for this, the PSA 10 is going for a couple hundred, I think like three hundred ish or around that value. So I think this is a really good price. It should be, I think, in my opinion, like a hundred thirty dollar card, and I got it for eighty bucks. So overall, not a bad pickup. But again, I'll just recap. We got a Joe Burrow red, white, and blue prism PSA nine. Robert Puisson Bowman Chrome PSA nine. Jaron Duran Bowman Chrome PSA nine. Purple Refractor and a Wander Franco Bowman Chrome PSA nine. So I did get a lot of baseball because I'm in baseball and football mode because those are the two sports that are beginning or have already started or halfway through, but especially with the minors, they're just getting underway. So those are something that I think you can make a lot of money on. And I think those are cards that you guys should be looking into, but you might see a, me jump off here and then you're gonna see me sign back on in a second uh, to recap my other huge purchases, or this might be the end of the video. But regardless, if you wanna see my other big purchases, stay tuned to the channel, leave a like and subscribe because I have, I think $10,000 in mail coming in in this next two days so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that video but that'll be it for me and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace